Hey guys, wanted to make a video about uh, Civic 96 to 2000. Um, this uh, Civic was stolen in the past. And if you're watching this video, um, either yours is stolen or you bought one or, or around one that's stolen. Um, what I wanted to fix was uh, this steering wheel being twisted as well as uh, where the ignition cylinder goes being offset or down well what they do basically I'm gonna teach you how to steal one right now um, is this is where your cylinder is right here sorry for the shitty camera work but all right here's where this uh, cylinder mechanism is and this this right here is where your lock is that locks the wheel um, if you look under here you see right there that's where that this guy sticks up from and locks it. Well, what they do is when this it's in its proper area right there on that um, string column, they do is they break it, which if you look right there, I JB welded where the crack was. And once it's broken and this falls down, technically you can uh, either short these soldered connections on or take these screws out and basically uh, this comes out and you don't need a key you basically could turn it on with a screwdriver it is that fast guys um, this is your bottom of your uh, steering column cover and uh, that's where the cylinder goes well you basically just need to take off these screws which they just kind of ripped and screwed up but um, I can still reuse mine but basically what happens when your steering column is twisted here's where um, I'm getting at for this video this tip uh, your steering wheel will never get straight um, this is the problem guys here let me get some better light a better angle this uh, sheet metal box or whatever you want to call it um, is for an accident it actually has a lot of give it's only a uh, Basically, this piece of sheet metal here, let me hang this up a little bit. Oh man, this sucks. Okay, so you see that, guys, right there? That's your, uh, that's what, what gets bent when it gets uh, stolen, and this, and this guy gets broken. Uh, this gets bent off to the side. Now, what you want to do is you basically need to straighten this guy out. So what I did is I took a big ass C clamp and I put it on here and if you know what I'm saying put it on this and basically give it a tug over so it will uh, straighten out till you get it as straight as you can and this part as uh, straight as you can once you get that straight then of course you gotta fix this crack or get a replacement these uh they do come in and um uh used if you could get some off ebay or you could probably get one off of a, a brand new from this parts store they are a little bit pricey go around 100 bucks think about 60 dollars used or even cheaper if you go get it yourself from a junkyard but you can reuse your cylinder which is not too bad and swap it over to the new one or fix this like i did and you know as long as they don't steal it again <laughs> we'll see about that all right, guys, I hope this helps out. I could not find any videos on this fix. Guys were saying to just go ahead and replace the whole steering column. And uh, I guess you could do that, but I didn't think it was worth it. Uh, steering columns can be kind of pricey and a pain in the ass, not to mention to get in and out from another vehicle. Um, so, yeah, hopefully this helps out um, somebody out there. And uh, let me know what you guys think. Thanks.